Reptile World Serpentarium opened in 1972 and has over 80 species of snakes on display, including some of the deadliest in the world, such as the King Cobra and Black Mamba. Out of the 3,000 snake species found worldwide, only 600 to 700 are venomous. Only 20 of these species are found in the United States, such as the cottonmouth, copperhead, and timber rattlesnake. Behind the scenes, the Serpentarium maintains hundreds of venomous snakes that are milked for their venom. The venom is extracted by owner George Van Horn and his assistant, Rosa, from a handful of snakes twice each day. The public is able to watch this process from behind protective glass. Snake venom is extracted to produce antivenin and for biomedical research. To milk a snake, the handler uses snake hooks or tongs to immobilize the snake's head and then grasps the snake with the thumb and forefinger just behind the head and jaws. The handler applies pressure to the snake's glands, forcing them to bite through a latex membrane that covers a collecting vial or glass. This process has to be repeated numerous times to collect sufficient quantities of venom. Snake venom is composed mainly of proteins and enzymes and is used to immobilize prey and for self-defense. The venom is stored in the parotid salivary glands located behind the eyes and is injected via hollow fangs. There are three types of fangs. Cobras and coral snakes have short, fixed fangs at the front of their mouths. In contrast, vipers have longer fangs that fold up into the roof of the mouth. Finally, some snakes have fangs at the rear of their mouths and generally have to chew to inject venom into their prey. There are four types of venom and some snakes have more than one type. Proteolytic venoms break down tissues at the site of the bite, causing necrosis, or tissue death. These are found in all snake venoms. Cytotoxic venoms cause cell death locally at the site of the bite. Hemotoxic venoms, common in most vipers, destroy red blood cells or cause the blood to coagulate, affecting the cardiovascular system. Neurotoxic venoms affect the nervous system, causing paralysis and ultimately suffocation. There is not enough antivenin being produced due to its cost and the fact that many of the people that need it can't afford it. The lack of availability and cost of antivenin, where most venomous snake bites occur, means that people rely on traditional medicines which may not work, often resulting in their death. There are an estimated 2.5 million venomous snake bites worldwide each year, mostly taking place in India, Southeast Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa. Around 100,000 people are believed to die annually from venomous snake bites. <laughs>